Welcome! This is the first video tutorial about Cell Tracker. I will show you how Cell Tracker works and what its main features are. Please, before running Cell Tracker, read the help documentation file provided with the software. Cell Tracker is an open source software implemented in MATLAB. It works on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux systems. Cell Tracker is able to read TIFF, AVI, and Bioformats files. You simply have to press the button Load an Image File and select the file in your computer. The first image of the dataset will be automatically displayed on the screen. You can remove frames from your dataset by using the Crop Time button. For instance, here I'm going to remove the first frame and the last frame. And you can also redefine the region of interest by using the XY Crops button. To define the region of interest, press the button and draw a rectangle inside your image. Now we are ready to track the cells. First of all, the dataset must be corrected for vignetting and shaking effects. To correct for the uneven illumination, technically called vignetting, we have implemented two common correction approaches. You can use the menu setting to adjust the parameters. After that, press the button Vignetting Correction. The background of your image should now have a homogeneous intensity. From the same setting menu, you can also adjust the parameter for the alignment algorithm we have implemented. For instance, here I will show you the results obtained by processing a dataset of images that are originally really badly aligned. For tracking the cells, we have implemented several methods subdivided into three main categories. Fully automatic, semi-automatic and manual tracking methods. In the next video tutorial called Tracking Modalities, I will explain the details of these methods. Here I will only give you a short overview. Let us start with the automatic tracking modality. As a first attempt, set a small value for the cell detector threshold. Then, define the template of a representative cell by drawing a rectangle on your image. Many false tracks will appear, but do not worry. You can easily remove them using the Remove Track button in the Edit Track menu. Playing with the cell detector threshold value, you will be able to find good tracks for most of the cells. To track the cells that are not detected automatically, you can proceed with the semi-automatic modality. In the semi-automatic modality, you simply have to select the cells you want to track and you can choose between two different matching modalities to find the correspondences in the following frames. Here I will only give you a brief overview showing how the semi-automatic tracking modality works. The cell at the bottom has not been tracked correctly. To correct the track, we can use the Move a single point of a track button in the Edit Track menu. Finally, we have also implemented a manual tracking modality to allow the user to precisely define the position of the cells in every frame. In case of a time step other than one, the missing coordinates can be computed using different algorithms. Once the tracks have been obtained, the Edit Tracks menu provides several additional functions to merge, delete, move, display, save and load the tracks. Finally, by using the Statistics button, you can obtain a great variety of measurements at single cell and population levels such as the distance of each cell from the origin, the total way run by each cell, and the average angle of direction of the population. Please read the help documentation file provided with the software to get a better overview of the computed parameters. Thank you for your attention.